Growing up in Thailand, uh, I wouldn't say Thailand is racist with a full word, but I feel like Thai people are not really like... Finally made it to Wat Sampran, the dragon temple out here in Nakhon Pathom, 40 kilometers to the west of Bangkok. And we have this 17-storied tall building with a red and green giant dragon uh, rolling around uh, the building all the way to the top. So these are, this is the leg of the dragon and you see like claws down here. This is pretty fascinating. Alright guys, let's go check inside this temple right now. <coughs> this is pretty much where you get inside the tummy of the dragon to get to the top of the building. So this tunnel right here is apparently closed because of the COVID-19, which is quite a bummer. Although I came here, when I came here last time, about a year ago, I was able to go inside and it takes only 10 to 15 minutes to go all, to, all the way to the top. This place is highly recommended for anyone who is visiting Thailand and Bangkok specifically. So we're taking a walk around this um, backyard of the temple where they have like a walkway uh, that goes around in circle. Also, we have a lot of statue and tomb inside this, um, in around these walkways. Although Wat Sampran is known for the dragon temple, here we also have a giant rabbit. We also have a temple in shape of a giant turtle, also a giant Buddha around there. Right now we're gonna go to the giant Buddha and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so if you guys come to this spot, you get to see the golden giant Buddha and uh, the Wat Sampran, the dragon temple itself. So it's pretty good view from up here actually. Regarding to what we all saw in the recent news in Thailand, a sign in front of Wat Pu that says uh, only Thais, no foreigners allowed. For me, that was something unacceptable and it's actually very shameful and sad. Also, what just went down in, in America, in the United States, with George Floyd, all this racism, this is, this is very brutal and uh, no way acceptable. With that being said, in this video, we have people from pretty much different races. We have an Italian vlogger, we have uh, an African-American, we have a Thai African also we have a Jeep who is from Vietnam I myself a Banglad Bangladeshi Thai so we're gonna pretty much go up to everyone and uh, ask their uh, experience and thoughts uh, of uh, living in Thailand as a foreigner does she look like Thai? Yeah, she can speak fluent Thai, so that's mind-blowing. Swadiha! Alright, my name is Mayo. I am working in Thailand and born and raised here. I am 27 years old. I and my friend right now, we are working on Black Empowerment Community, which we want to create a community for every black person in Thailand and Asia. And the objective is basically we want to uh, tell our culture, our history, and also uh, tell, sharing each other about racism and discrimination that we all face in our daily life okay. and we want everyone to be a part and share their own story to encourage each other to get together. Uh, from my point, growing up in Thailand, uh, I wouldn't say Thailand is racist with a full word but I feel like Thai people are not really like, they haven't been told. I studied in Thai school. We, we did not get to study any black history. We did not, uh, we did not have, get to tell like, you know, like 
what we're doing you discriminate others I, I got bullied everyone every type person even a black person who just leave came over here we got we yeah. we got we go through some kind of discrimination so I want to spread a word so our page is gonna have like content both in Thai and English because I want Thai people to be educated and to to know more and I feel like some I don't I, like I said I don't want to call them racist at all the way but it happened because they don't know yeah. so I want to educate them and let them know that what they do is not right so let's work together point out the issue and I'm sure one day we can all come together as a good terms and and one race and we forget about all this discrimination that we are going through it right now you know for as being a foreigner here in Thailand um, as a black American uh, it's it's interesting coming in and seeing what uh, the type of um, response I get from Thai people being a black American uh, a lot of times I feel like people um, have a lot of miscommunication about black Americans there's a lot of stereotypes out there and so I feel like being a part of this organization uh, helps to um, defeat some of those stereotypes just by educating people about the black American experience and obviously we see what's going on with the George Floyd situation um, there's a lot of questions arising and things like that so I, I just think it's a great opportunity to educate people about what's going on you know, going to these teaching agencies, I was told flat out by different teaching agencies that you're black and it's going to be a hard time for you to find a teaching position in like central Bangkok. The, the parents and the teachers prefer to have, um, you know, white only or even Filipino or something like that, but not black. And even by white teachers, you know, friends of mine around Thailand, they've told me like, you know, they ask like, oh, hey, I have a black friend, could they, you know, apply for the job? And the staff told them flat out like, no, we don't hire. Yeah, I have a degree and everything, and they still like, you know... It's like, it's I noticed that from the first day I came here in Thailand, every time I answered saying that I'm Italian, I was completely ruined for the rest of the trip. Like, my first experience uh, going on a taxi, uh, the question was, where are you from? And I said, Italy, and uh, he was like, uh, uh, where do you come from exactly? Uh, did you have any in your family with COVID? Uh, what's going on with you? Why are you here? And it was super, super weird. I booked a hotel in Rayong, a few days later I got an email, uh, you're not accepted here. And the reason was uh, that uh, I have an Italian passport and I had an Italian phone number. But uh, they didn't ask me if I was living in Thailand full time, if I've been here for 10 years or if I've been here for one week. They didn't ask you anything, they just refused me from the hotel. And uh, the feeling was incredibly bad, I never got back to that city. The, the bus company now is not accepting foreigners and uh, yeah, the, the bus company, the, the temple, the temple uh, maybe they are seeing yeah. also some trains and they yeah. are not accepting foreigners, so it's, I think yeah. the government doesn't care. I yeah. I see this this is unreal we're in front of the giant turtle right now and apparently there's a, a tunnel inside this uh, turtle there is a sign that says no entry if you don't have mask so make sure that uh, you have mask and your proper hygiene let's do it so that is the entrance and that is the way to the tunnel We're down at this temple and apparently here uh, we have a uh, footprint of the Buddha here. They were just coming here and pray to the symbol here. Hey, that was quick. Yeah, that was a quick one. So this is the end of the tunnel. It took us about just two minutes. So there is basically a place down there where you can go and pray. It's Mikkel is actually killing it with his live stream right now so make sure to go check out his channel he does a lot of live stream also Bangkok based video apparently he got stuck in here it's been almost three months now so make sure to go check out his channel for some awesome content <laughs> โอ้โหสวยนะลูกนะโอ้โหสาธุลูกพาเพื่อนๆไปชมนะลูกนะ
ช่วงนี้ตึกมังกรปิดใ,ในตัวในตัวมังกรปิดมันโควิดมันโควิดลูกมันโควิดก็คือเราก็ต้องทําตามนโยบายรัฐบาลเนาะอย่างนั้นน่ะ Alright, guys, we're back at the parking, and that is pretty much the end of today's vlog. The goal was pretty much to um, highlight this place, to show um, some really beautiful temple very near to Bangkok, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, um, one of the other objective of this video was to uh, highlight the the discrimination that are going on around the world and uh, in Thailand. We all are human, no matter what skin color, and uh, I think everyone should be treated equally. Um, how we react to every skin color matters because at the end of the day everyone has feelings everyone has same color of blood running through their veins everyone has happiness and sorrow so how we react to all the races all uh, people from um, each countries actually matters people from different skin tone um, matters so I hope you guys have learned something from this video um, if you do make sure to hit the like comment and subscribe to the channel for more with that being said I'll see you guys on the next vlog until next time stay safe stay awesome keep radiating the positivity peace